Hey everyone. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, destructive testing, doing a little comparison between our 7075 aluminum that we use for all our steering kits here and also for suspension links, and the 250 wall DOM steel tube that most of our competitors use, and also the stock piece from a, uh, this one's from a Jeep. We're going to be using our tubing bender here. Rigged up a gauge on here so that we can actually get a, a fair comparison of how much force it takes to bend each one of these and uh, answer a few questions that we get a lot about you know, how, how strong this aluminum really is. And we'll also start off, you know, a couple little comparisons here. One thing, the aluminum's a whole lot lighter. In fact, both of these pieces, they're the same length, they're both about 12 and a half inches long. This aluminum piece is a full pound lighter than the steel. So over the length of, say, our JK tie rods that we make, that's a full five pound difference just in that, in that material, which five pounds may not seem like a lot, but over an entire build on a vehicle, when you do steering, suspension links, body armor, things like that, you save a few pounds here and there, at the end of the day, you're a whole lot lighter and the car performs a whole lot better on the trail. It doesn't have to heave a whole bunch of weight up those rocks. All right, so here is our setup. It's just a regular JD squared tubing bender. Up here, we've got a pressure gauge, which I hope you guys can read. Uh, we'll see how it comes out. Down here, we've got our degree markings on the degree wheel. We're gonna do each one of these pieces 25 degrees, just as kind of a baseline to keep it even between the two materials. And I tried to put some red marks on here, make it a little bit easier to see on video. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see it all right. So first one up, we did the uh, inch and a half, 250 wall DOM steel tubing. Uh, this is what an awful lot of manufacturers use for steering. Really common, um, pretty basic stuff. So let's see uh, how it does here. All right, so if you're watching there, we got a little over 1200, probably about 1250 PSI. So I'll go ahead and put a mark on there and reset this whole deal, and uh, we'll see how the aluminum does. All right, now we're ready to test out the 7075 aluminum. And once again, this is inch and a half, 7075 uh, solid bar this is what we use in all of our one ton steering kits, our JK steering kits, um, as well as our high roller WJ swap kit for the uh, TJ and XJ guys. And we also custom build steering out of this stuff for pretty much anything. So now let's uh, give this one a shot, see what it takes. All right, well, uh, the gauge doesn't lie. That was well over 1600 PSI compared to the roughly 1200. I think we were probably more up around 17, 1800 PSI. So quite a bit more force needed than, uh, than the DOM tube. So here's our last test. And this one's just kind of for giggles. This is a stock Cherokee tie rod. And uh, we're gonna see how much force it takes to bend this thing. I know it's gonna be way, way below both of the others. These things are super flimsy, but uh, I figured it'd just be fun. Yep, as expected, didn't even get 400 PSI and the things folded like a taco. Here's another measurement we wanted to make here. We've been showing you guys for quite a while how resilient the 7075 is and how when you bash it into a rock, it just springs right back after getting bent. And we can get a distinct measurement. Now, both of these pieces were bent to the 25 degree mark on the bender, yet the aluminum sprung back 
four full degrees more than the steel did. So there you have it everyone. Not only does the 7075 aluminum spring back more and return to straight more like we've been saying for a long time and like we've demonstrated in some of our other torture tests, but it also takes a significant amount more force to bend it to begin with compared to the DOM. And uh, yeah, a lot more than this stock flimsy stuff. So uh, hope you enjoyed it guys. I uh, hope you learned some things. I certainly did. And uh, hope we'll see you next time. And be sure to check out our website, www.stinkyfab.com. Have a great one.